This month's lesson goes out to the national championship team from Massachusetts and their coach, Josh Frost. Now, Coach Frost joined the Art of Problem Solving website way back in 2003, which means he's been part of AOP since before you were born. That means he's old. Wait a second. That means I'm old, too. Gah. Now that we know that I'm old, let's do some math. All right, we have a word problem here. Rectangle is twice as long as it is wide. When the lengths of all sides are increased by three feet, the area of the new rectangle is triple that of the original rectangle. We have to find the length of the new rectangle. Now all these words describe a picture. Let's draw that picture. First, our original rectangle. Its length is double its width. So we're going to say its width is x, and its length then is double the width is 2x. And then our new rectangle. It's a little bit bigger than the original rectangle because we get the new rectangle by increasing each of these dimensions by 3. So our width will be x plus 3, and the length will be 2x plus 3. Now let's go back and look at these words, see if we can build an equation, find x. All right, let's see here. The area of the new rectangle is triple that of the original rectangle. That's an equation in words. Let's make it an equation in x. The area of the new rectangle, we take our 2x plus 3, and we're going to multiply that by x plus 3. And that equals triple the area of the original rectangle. So it's triple 2x times x. Now we have an equation we can solve for x. All right, we're going to multiply out this side. 2x times x gives us 2x squared. And then 3 times x gives us 3x. And then 2x times 3 gives us another 6x. Put those together, we have 9x. Then 3 times 3 is 9. And over here, 3 times 2x times x gives us 6x squared. Well, now I'm going to bring all these terms over here. Subtract off the 2x squared, the 9x, and the 9. So I get a quadratic over here. 4x squared minus 9x minus 9. Let's factor that quadratic. All right, how are we going to factor that? Well, first, this 4x, I can't split that 2x and 2x, because then my middle term will turn out to have an even coefficient. 9 is odd. So I know I'm going to want a 4x in one of these and an x in the other one. But how do I split up the 9? Do I want to go 3 and 3, or do I want to go 9 and 1? Well, if I go 3 and 3, I'll be able to make a 12x and a 3x. And I've got a 9 sitting right there. Yeah, this is going to work. I'm going to put a minus 3 over here and a plus 3 over here. Positive 3 times the negative 3 gives me that negative 9. And if I multiply 4x and minus 3, I get a minus 12x. And combine that with the 3x right there, I get the minus 9x. There's our factored quadratic. Now I want this to equal 0. But gives me two choices for x. Oh, we have to remember what x stands for. It stands for a length right here. It stands for the length of the width of the rectangle. So x can't be negative. We don't want this solution. We want the one that comes out over here. x is 3. Oh, but we have to be careful. If we write down 3, we'll get the wrong answer. Very important last step in a word problem. Read the question. The question asks for the length of the new rectangle. x equals 3, but that's the width of the original rectangle. We need the length of the new rectangle. If we put the 3 right in there, 2 times 3 gives us 6. We add on 3 more. We get 9 feet, and we're ready for the next problem. 
Oh, more words. All right, a canary flies directly east 4,000 meters at a speed of 20 meters per second. It then immediately turns and flies directly north for 3,000 meters at a speed of 30 meters per second. Then the canary flies back to its starting point in a straight line in 100 seconds. And we need the average speed for the canary over the whole trip. Bunch of words describes a picture. Let's draw that picture. All right. The canary flies directly east, 4,000 meters. There we go, 4,000 meters at a speed of 20 meters per second. And then flies directly north, 3,000 meters at a speed of 30 meters per second. Then it flies straight back to where it started. And let's see, 100 seconds. Oh, this is nice. We have everything nice and organized here. It's really nice to draw a picture. Now let's see, we need the average speed of the canary over this whole trip. So we need to figure out how far total the canary flew and how long it took. Well, we know the canary goes 4,000 meters and then 3,000 meters and then whatever that distance is. But we could break out the Pythagorean theorem or we can see we got a 3, 4, 5 right triangle here. 3,000 meters, 4,000 meters as our legs. That hypotenuse is going to be 5,000 meters. So the total trip, 4,000 plus 3,000 plus 5,000, the total trip is 12,000 meters. How long does it take the canary to make this whole trip? Well, along the hypotenuse, that's 100 seconds, but we need to figure out how long each of these take. Well, let's see, this one's 4,000 meters in 20 meters per second. That means, well, we just divide. 4,000 divided by 20, that means the canary spent 200 seconds flying along this leg, flying east, and then turns north flies 3,000 meters at 30 meters per second. Divide 3,000 by 30, took the canary 100 seconds to go up this leg. So the total flight took 200 seconds plus 100 seconds plus another 100 seconds. That's 400 seconds total. So the canary goes 12,000 meters in 400 seconds. So the average speed of the canary over the entire trip, we just divide 12,000 divided by 400 is 30 meters per second.